Hey everyone, welcome to this week's Azure Infrastructure Update. It's the 30th of August and a really quick update this week. As always, I have the chapters, new videos this week, just one video as I'm actually moving house today. I've been building a house for six months. I've been living in a travel trailer for six months. So actually moving in today, so this week has been chaotic. But I did create a video on thinking about Azure Functions and how I can deploy them and test locally using VS Code to then get them into Azure. And Azure Functions are phenomenal. Don't just think of it as, oh, if I'm not a developer, they're not useful. I can run PowerShell code. I can run Python from Azure Functions in addition to C Sharp and a host of other languages. So if I need any kind of scheduling of running something in PowerShell for some operations task, uh, this can be really useful. On to what's new on the compute side, so the managed Red Hat OpenShift offering in partnership between Microsoft and Red Hat now supports up to 250 nodes in a cluster. So that Kubernetes managed experience and a whole bunch of other capabilities is now able to support even the largest of workloads. On the database side, so Azure Cache for Redis now has larger cache instances. There's an E200 and E400, which give you 200 and 400 uh, gigabytes of memory respectively, and up to 240 virtual CPUs. So when I have those really demanding Redis cache workloads, where I typically want that in memory um, cache that I use for my applications for really low latency, um, I can get that really large cache instance now. On the miscellaneous side, so API Center. Now remember, API Center is great for that design time API phase. It helps me centralize the API inventory, the discovery, the governance. And then for the runtime, we use Azure API uh, management capabilities to provide additional functionalities, front ending them, et cetera. So now in the API center where we're creating those APIs, we now have managed linting. Now linting helps analyze the code for errors, for stylistic inconsistencies, uh, non-adherence to your coding guidelines. So now with this linting experience in API center, it will go and analyze the APIs you're creating to ensure they are adhering to your organization standards. They're adhering, to your rules, they have no errors or inconsistencies in them. And it's really saying I just have to go and turn on and then I can get reporting on the state of that code. But also if I'm using VS Code and I have the Azure API Center extension installed, it will give me a real time linting experience and show me those little yellow lines under the code to show me any inconsistencies I have. So this is a really nice feature. And it's literally you turn the thing on and that's it. Retirements, and there's a whole bunch of these. So obviously Azure Service Manager, our original Azure control plane, as basically as of today, is retired. And then all the different things that depend on that. So hopefully you're off of anything that uses the Azure Service Manager. ARM has retired TLS 1.0 and 1.1 as of the end of October. So I want to get on to TLS 1.2 or above, which is really the superior sets of protocols that determine the ciphers used, uh, the key exchange mechanisms for our encrypted connections. So make sure we're getting off of TLS 1.0 and 1.1. Obviously, SSL has been deprecated forever. HD Insight on AKS is being retired uh, end of January 2025. Really you need to move to St. else. It could be Microsoft Fabric or some other solution. And also HD Insight Azure Monitor Experience Preview is being retired on the 1st of February, 2025. And basically what that is, is there's been the shift when I'm talking to Log Analytics to use the Azure Monitor agent instead. So what you wanna be doing is move to an image that uses the Azure Monitor agent now, when you want to talk to log analytics. So that's really just that that preview is not being used. Instead, use the Azure Monitor agent. And that was it. I told you it was a quick update. Until the next video, take care.